This is the 42nd edition of the race with a rather long name, Vuelta Ciclista a la Región de Murcia, Costa Calida Gran Premio, Banco Sabadell. On the first climb of the day, an attack by one of the riders of the Basque team, Euskatel Euskadi, and he soon gets company of his teammates, meaning we have two Basque riders in the lead with Javier Asparen and Asier Etzebarria on the longest climb of the day, the Alto Colada Bermejo. But then after that climb, they were caught and we had a rather strong breakaway of four with Tour de France stage winners Warren Barguil and Niels Politz, Kobe Gosens, the Belgian rider, and also Brandon McNulty, who was already successful this season with a win on Mallorca. On the final climb of the day, the Alto El Cedacero, five kilometers, we had an unfortunate crash of last year's winner, Antonio Jesus Soto. And our breakaway of four is down to one man only. And that is this man, the American Brandon McNulty of Team UAE Emirates. Counter-attack from the peloton from Superman Lopez. Miguel Angel Lopez Moreno back in the colors of Astana, Kazakhstan in his first race day of the year. In that group with Jesus Herrada, Kobe Gosens, Mateo Trentin, Vargan Barguil and Thibaut Gernalek. And they are chasing down this man. On the descent to Puerta Cartagena. Unfortunately for Lopez, he didn't catch McNulty on the climb and it will be very hard for him to do on the descent. 30 seconds is what he has to make up. But then this happens. Cramps for the Colombian, meaning the chase is over. Overtaken by the chasing group with Gernalek and Barguil, the two teammates at Arkea Samsik. Mateo Trentin, the backup plan for UAE Team Emirates. Jesus Herrada and Kobe Gosens. 13 kilometers, the peloton, or what's left of it, is back together. And it's up to Arkea Samsik to do the chasing, to catch this man. On the first race day of the season, he did a 60 kilometer solo and won in Mallorca. But today, that's not going to be the case for Brandon McNulty. Five kilometers to go, and he's caught. But not to worry, because UAE Team Emirates have a backup plan. Plan B was Trentin, and this is plan C, Alessandro Covi. 23 years of age, from Italy, very talented young rider. Last year almost netted his first pro win in the Coppa Bernocchi. And with 1k to go, and Arkea Samsi completely tired from the chasing, it's Alessandro Covi on his way to his first professional win after some fantastic teamwork of UAE Team Emirates. What a win for Alessandro Covi and what a day for UAE Team Emirates with Matteo Trentin in second place and a fantastic finish picture on top of that. The top 10 of the Vuelta Murcia, Alessandro Covi, Matteo Trentin, Matisse Louvel on the podium and also Jonas Koch, Luis Fliegen, Orluis Aular, Warren Barguil, Thibaut Ferras, Jesus Esquera and Marco Tizza. Great day for Alessandro Covi. You never forget your first pro win and the first Italian to win the Vuelta a Murcia since 1999 when it was Marco Pantani winning here in the south of Spain. What a day for Team Emirates. Fantastic teamwork with Brenda McNulty, Matteo Trentin and the winner of this Vuelta a Murcia, Alessandro Covi.